Start recording. Hey Maggie, am I recording yet? I am? Okay. So I'll try that again. So I'm watching Spotify and um, and it's Mr. Beast. And Mr. Beast is there and he's um, he specializes in going viral. A lot of the things that he's uncovered about YouTube. And I'm, I'm gonna go and check out some of this stuff, you know. I've been studying YouTube for, since about 2014, 2015, somewhere there. So I am totally at the different end of the YouTube journey, uh, or journey. Um, he, he was around since YouTube was the beginning. So things, things have changed, but you know, I'm sure he's fully on board with what the hell is going on. Um, pacing is one of the things that he talks about. Uh, pacing it through videos, uh, being interesting. Now I could say, <laughs> I could say I need to work on that. I need to, yeah, I sure as shit I need to work on that. Uh, this is just a thinking out loud. But I want to get this thought out before I forget it. Because I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand some stuff, and I have been trying to understand some stuff about YouTube for a, for a long while now. Um, to the point that I'm just having a go and and winging it, and um, going to learn some stuff along the way. Some of my first videos, even the pre-videos that I sent out to mates and stuff like that, some of, some of the, 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 the cryptic feedback was, you know, you can fast forward through some of that stuff, you know. <laughs> or, you know, you, you can, you can uh, speed things up a bit. There's too many boring bits in there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Some of those people obviously don't watch the same channels that I watch. Um, and I've been a bit defiant on, no, I'm not gonna cut all that stuff out because it has something to do with the story. It might not be a good story. I need to get better at telling these stories, sure. But there's some details in there. There's some, there's some stuff. So if we go and take the details out of life, do we want just a bang, 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 oh, life's finished. Do we wanna, do we wanna have that life where your whole life flashes before you as you're dying? Or do we want to live life all the way through? All the boring bits and all the... Sometimes there's a lot of hard work that goes into to having some of those. Uh, is your screen all right? I'm just, is that a... You good? You good? Um, sometimes there's some boring bits in life and some of, those, some of those hard work bits need to be sort of shown so people can appreciate what it was all about. Uh, And so when some, you know, some people say, oh, you know, you could drop that down to three minutes. Oh, people only want to see three minutes. Oh, they only want to see, you know, whatever. And I don't know that that's, that's helping the world's attention span. Um, I'm reading a book at the moment on listening to a book. Um, Johan or Hari, whatever his name is. Sorry, mate, but uh, I listened to you on the, on the conversation there. My mate told me about you. <laughs> And it's like, oh yeah, no, I'll, I, I get all that stuff. I see what you're saying. You know, everyone's been hooked to their phones and all that sort of thing, and uh, and controlled. Um, and if I jump on the bandwagon and make a whole lot of viral content, like um, like Mr. Beast and a lot of others, and get rewarded for it, am I just um, helping take that attention span away from humanity? Um, and uh, the reason I say that is because some of the channels I watch, you know, whether it be Dirt Perfect or, or Musty One or, you know, even Captain Clemens getting a little bit longer lately, you know, there's, there's usually nothing under half an hour at the moment. And some of those videos are coming out. Dirt Perfect's churning them out right at the moment. Um, it's almost like one a day, you know, he's on a mission uh, <laughs> to catch up and get rid of the backlog, much like I'm doing. Um, and... Uh, his stuff's an hour, you know? And obviously there's been stuff cut out, you know, there's a whole day's worth of work. You know, it could be a 12 hour day. And uh, he's cut stuff out. He's cut stuff out. Uh, he's in my, my YouTube little studio, I think, at the moment. It's a bit of a mess, but you know, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I haven't finished. I haven't finished, but 
really only just moved some of this stuff in here this year to crank it up and get some stuff happening you know and I've only just started editing on this PC which is the faster one I've been doing everything at home on the little slow i5 NUC <laughs> I, I just slipped a bit of extra memory in the other day to make it work yeah see little details like that you know I can cut that out it's all right I can cut that out you don't need to know but do you want to know I don't know um, so yeah, this is this is this is at work. This is going to be the YouTube studio. There's going to be I don't know. It's, you, know you have a bit of stuff on the shelf. You have the obligatory guitar. You always have a guitar. That's going to be the uh, forget that. That's that's part of work. It's going to go out there. Those shelves aren't going to be there. And I've got a whole bolt of camo material and some more, some more camo material. I'm going to make some curtains. You know, for sound. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I've got the obligatory guitar. And uh, I might do something with it one day. We have a few plans like that. Got our books on the bookshelf. Hey, look at that. Probably the mechanics. What's that? 1960. You know, might pick out a few things out of out of some of there one day. You know, some of those cool things. Some books. You know, what's the point of all that? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'm just telling you what I think. I was just watch, watching that Mr. Beast, and I, I'm thinking. The algorithm, you know, you blame the algorithm, but really it's it's us going in becoming self-aware. We all know that, don't we? We all know that. The machines are going to take over. Um, yeah. So, YouTube wants people to stay on. And Mr. Beast has worked out that, what's he, 200 million, 90 something million on, on his main channel, whatever. Um, there's a whole bunch of millions of people watching it um, and they seem to be young kids so is that like a starter drug vying for attention that snapchat and and instagram and all that sort of thing go for as well and facebook i suppose but i don't know facebook's for the young kids anymore is it i don't know but yeah snapchat and and, and instagram and Oh, I was on a plane one time, a long time ago, when when people went on planes. It was it was well back before. It'd be five years ago, and it was a young soccer team was on the um, was on the plane, and uh, the eighteen year old kids, maybe less. And I was watching their attention span as they were um, cruising through Instagram, and just the swipe speed, the amount of milliseconds where they actually watch a video what they did with their thumb how they watch a video we're talking milliseconds is a pause they consider that being watched and obviously that's how all the the stats are worked out with all the social media's uh, impressions is sort of like when someone stalls just for a second as they're swiping past that's an impression you know someone might have looked at that for less than a second and that is counted as a stat <laughs> And it's amazing what the human condition can take in in that short of time. I am um, old enough to remember uh, going to concerts where they had a whole bunch of light shows and stuff like that. And I don't know what the first one was, but the first one that I think might have changed the world was U2 with that, uh, oh, I'd like to know what the, uh, what was the, what was the tour? There was a song called Lemon. It might have even been that song, Lemon, that was, that was, um, and they, what they did, they had this big, huge stage of, of screens, hugest ever. You know, this, I think it was the first time. The first time. And they were pumping out these images, and there was like 20 to a second, or something like that. You know, maybe it was 10, maybe it was five, five, I don't know. But it was boop, 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 all these images that you could see but you couldn't blink and it's amazing what you can take in and it's almost like programming subliminal programming or something like that uh, it slips in behind the thinking brain the emotional brain works on split seconds the thinking brain doesn't it's got a process and there's a time lapse and that's why there's things like reaction times in cars when you hit the brakes and things like that or reaction times when people go to punch you in the head there's reaction times 
Now, the caveman brain, he can, he can react without thinking. Um, so a lot of smart marketing people know how to slip this stuff in uh, underneath the logic brain. And they work on your emotions like your fear or your... All the emotions that count, you know. All the emotions that... Um, anger, whatever. Yeah, they, they put all sorts of things in there. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, get that thought out. It's not, a, it's not a fleshed out thought. It's not a finished thought. Um, but one part of what I was thinking of was that Mr. Beast and YouTube they're hooking these people, this audience, Mr. Beast's type of audience, in. And I think they're going for a certain demographic, ones that have been programmed to that do 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 fast pacing. Um, whereas there's still a lot of people on YouTube, Dirt Perfect and stuff like that. And Musty One, where you get to see the whole lot. And a bit more relaxing, you know? bit of ASMR or something like that, AMSR, whatever what it's called, AMSR, um, brain food, and uh, like watching a fire, you can relax a bit, um, whereas all the other stuff, so I think it might ramp up your anxiety and it make you talk funny too, like blah, 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 you know, like so, um, I know people like that, they ask you a question, you start answering, within two seconds you're not answering their question fast enough they walk off and they do it all the time and it's rude but it's just who they are but it's not just who they are it's who who a whole generation is and if you don't have time to ask the questions and get the answers how are you going to learn you know if you don't have time to think about it get the answers how are you going to learn? So I, 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 I sort of feel like take time to smell the roses. I don't know. If I flesh this out anymore, or if I come up with a better idea, uh, yeah, better, better concept to all this. Um, but I do want to. I do want to understand what can be done about giving back attention span to people so uh, I think it's important I think it's um, yeah, Johan Johari no something uh, Stolen Focus is the book that I've only just started and it just got to the bit where he's going to talk about 12 12 reasons that he's found that um, that people stole, uh, focus has been stolen and I, I stopped the book I'm going to go and ask some people from different demographics, different different generations, different whatevers. And I'm going to um, see if I can come up with a couple of real good reasons. See if they happen to be the same as his. Um, I'm going to think about it for a bit. Take some time out. Look at a fire. Watch some bubbles. All right, guys. Okay. Good night, everyone. Jim Bob out.